Welcome back friends, today I'm testing out the strongest, most powerful clamps that I have ever had my hands on, made by Dymide. I have a couple of their clamps, the HD model and the quarter inch model. So the quarter inch, this I believe is a six inch clamp, you can hook an impact to it. And then it also has a handle that goes in there, I don't have it in here at the moment. Yeah, here's it. This has a handle with a detent so you can remove it. So in order to tighten this, you put that pin in there and then it's like a turnbuckle, so when you spin this, so inside there's a threaded rod, so for every turn, it's moving here and moving there, so it goes pretty fast. But then if you want to go even faster, you can hook this end right here to an impact. Let me show you. Okay, so here's the impact. So it has an end right there, so it'll lock on with your impact. So see, you can hang it like that. Check this out. That opens it, and that, closes it. So I believe this one has 2,000 pounds of closing force. This one I believe has 5,000 pounds of closing force. So some of the clamps I've used in the past, this one right here, I'll use this like for doing brakes, but you can see how that, it takes a long time, you can see how that's, I don't know if you can see that this right here is somehow bent. So, see that? And then this quick clamp right here, if you think this has a lot of power, wait till you see this right here. All right, let's take a closer look. All right, so here I have a piece of four foot long one inch tube steel. I'm gonna connect it to the piece of two inch tube steel that's in the Rockwell jaw horse. Using a dynamite clamp, I'm gonna connect the two ends. I'm gonna use the Makita impact driver. Hear that ratchet, it's gonna snug it right down. Take the impact off. Now watch as I grab the other end of the four foot steel. It just lifts the Rockwell jaw horse right off the ground. And look at that area where it's clamped. It's not even moving. There's a lot of leverage on that end. You can just see how well that clamp works. And then when you're done, just quickly hook your impact up, release it, and you're on your way. Now taking a closer look at the quarter inch clamps right here, you can see there's a handle right there. You can use that if you don't have an impact driver handy. You can quickly open and close it with that too. And you can get a lot of leverage to get it nice and tight as well. Probably not quite as tight as your impact though. And then these jaws right here are aluminum. That's something that you can get as an accessory from Dymide. And the aluminum works really well for not scratching other steel or stainless steel and you can quickly remove the jaws in there with some pins. There's a little detent that holds it in, so again, no tools required. And they also offer rubber ones, or you can make some wood ones too. One tool accessory I recommend for using these clamps, this Makita eight-piece quarter-inch impact socket set. It's their smaller size, so it has a quarter-inch and a half-inch in there, which you're gonna to need to run these clamps if you wanna use an impact. You can always use a handle to do it manually if you want. So I noticed when doing this, you're gonna to wanna to take that handle out because it'll spin really fast. And there is a possibility if you're running it with the handle in, this is in slow-mo, you can see that handle went flying. There's a chance it could go flying across the room. So just wanna make you aware of that. So with the socket set right here, you can see it just goes on and off the quarter inch series clamp nice and fast but if you want to lock it in place then you take that socket off and that Makita just locks in place and now if I want to go to the heavy-duty clamp I put a half inch socket on I'm going to take that handle off and that sockets on the impact now you see how it slides on the end and that opens and closes just as fast I do have my fingers out of the way, but that's one thing, just make sure when you're opening and closing it, just be careful where your fingers are at, because that opens and closes nice and fast. Very efficient. And looking at the heavy duty clamps, I did underestimate the clamping power they have. They're actually 7,700 pounds, which is amazing. And then they also have a fixed shoe. They're not replaceable and modular like the other ones. So they're a weld spattered, protected, copper coated shoe and screw, and they have V grooves in them. 
So if you go to dimide.com, you're going to see several pages of information on how versatile these clamps are, such as pipe jaws right here, or some long reach jaws, several varieties of that. Some welding jaws with a ground wire on it. Some table mount that can be bolted on or welded on. Here's an example how you can make your own wood jaws. They give you details for that. Rubber Nomar jaws. And then the Kickstarter starts July 14th, 2020. It starts out at $39. And then after a short time, it's gonna go up close to 50. So you might wanna jump on that now. In this video, it's wearing these brand new Gorilla Grip gloves. They have A5 cut protection, really great dexterity for running the clamps and the impact. And they have touchscreen compatible fingertips. So I'll have a link to those down below as well. All right, friends, so this is a quick look at the Dynamite clamps right here. I'll have a link down below if you want to check out their Kickstarter deals. Right now would be a good time to get in on that. So I have a question for you. If you had these type of clamps right here, what heavy-duty projects would you use these on? Please let me know down below. So my goal in this video is to help you guys out by putting these to the test so you can see if they're right for you in case you're considering the purchase of them. So if you find this video review interesting, informative, and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching, see you next time.